the dressing room finds assistant tour manager Kevin Thompson working hard. Let's go up. And Tommy working even harder. <laughs> I have the life. <laughs> Wakeman fans, I have the life. You should have practiced your instrument, and you could be doing what I am right now. Absolutely nothing. <laughs>。leaving Stockholm today. Just having a walk to find a pharmacy to get a prescription. And then we're off to Helsinki. It's a wicked town. Very cool. Show went well last night, and uh, yeah, it was good. This is quite a cool little, um, cool little square. They got this stage over here. So every day, like five nights a week, they have sort of music and stuff going on here, and stalls and shit like that. It's really cool. I like it here. I could live here. Mind you, it's extremely expensive. Um, probably second only to uh, Finland, which I think is a little bit more expensive than here. But uh, we go to Russia. Actually, that's really expensive as well. I think actually everywhere is just really expensive now. I'm stuck in 1992. Gus G, Tommy, Blasco mm. in the darkness, leaving Finland. Helsinki, to be exact. Leaving Helsinki. Got a few people come out to uh, say cheerio to Sting, to clearly. Sting. Sting left half an hour ago, but nobody's told them that yet. They're all holding police records. Oh, no, no, Sabbath records. Neither so, yeah. Of them have us Sabbath records. Appear to be. Quite a hold up here in the middle of Helsinki. Oh, they know who he is. Oh, there he is. There's the boss. And no one got angry. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're still going to keep holding that volume four record with no autograph on it. <laughs> just to let you know. There's just too many so people. Got in the car. Too car. many people. Yeah, you missed it, buddy. Okay, go back about your business. Carry on shopping. Arriving in St. Petersburg, Russia. And it looks a bit like that. This is really cool because you can see all the runways, so you can see if the pilots had a couple of gin and tonics. Russian M25, traffic update, moving, moving freely, no hold-ups. That's the old airport. Better than new. Russia. What do you make of it so far, Tommy? So far, it's gl it gloomy. <laughs> and we had to wait and watch race car driving, which I insulted Adam because I said, so they just go in circles, huh? That's what Tommy thinks Formula One racing is all about. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's great to be in Leningrad.
Home of Ingve Malmsteen. Home of Ingve Malmsteen, 89. And let me uh, let me guess, he did what, probably 12 nights here? 12 nights in a row, sold out. When? In 1989. Great album. Great fucking album. Live in Leningrad. Yeah. In 2010, he did one sold out night of 30 people. <laughs> <laughs> in a hotel bar. In a hotel bar. That's the lunatic that nearly just killed us. Yeah. If that's you and you happen to be by chance looking at my MySpace and you nearly killed us, you're a twat. We actually played here on the 2007 Black Rain Tour. My dad and a Russian <laughs> when Skyler, my little girl, was about ooh, she was about one and a half years old. Big Stella. Big Stella and Blaska, have you noticed the local beer? This one? Let's have a look at that. What's that? It is. Um... So I think this is the coolest hotel so far. We're in uh, Moscow. So you come through the door, you get greeted with this a little touch screen. Very, very cool. So flight here was fine and we've got a day off tomorrow and it's Gus G's birthday so um, we intend to take him out and show him Russia um, or Moscow in particular and uh, see what he makes of that. I don't think he's been here before, um, Tommy's not been here before, Blasco was here with me um, and uh, Kevin and all those guys back in 2007 on the Black Rain Tour so we're uh, a bit more familiar with this place. Um, but it's going to be cool, it's going to be good. Okay, so we're off to do the Affliction in-store signing, um, somewhere in Moscow, should be good, Let's see what happens, might be no one there. So they sent a nice, uh, uh, nice Sort of understated car. Everybody here? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're here. Hello. 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 I think I might as well film a bit of this too. We're on our way to the signing, and in true style, stretch Hummer limo. Just what we need. Just what we want. That's how Blasco rolls. That's how Blasco rolls. Blasco yes. goes for milk, he goes in a stretch hummer. Right? That's exactly right, Mr. G. Nobody told me stairs were part of this. We are. Russia. We are in Russia and we are going to do a signing for a fiction <laughs> in Moskva. Down to Gorky Park. We don't know if anyone will show up, but we still get It's here. going to be so embarrassing if there's like two people who work in the we store. We are anticipating a Spinal Tap moment <laughs> in Moscow. But we don't know whose ass we will kick. Maybe the girl that picked us up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this is my kind of store. All oh, right. I want to do a signing in here. This is not affliction. No, this, this is, is Baby Gap. I hope my wife doesn't see me in here. <laughs> She'll be like, why didn't you get that? <laughs> There's people. There's people.
See, this would be even cooler if it was like two in the morning, but it's actually sort of six thirty in the afternoon. It feels like two in the morning. It does feel like two in the morning. The and the party hasn't even started yet. No. Oh, it started. Look at the lights. <laughs> listen, listen, and look to what's happening. The party is around yeah, you. Right Siberian fast food. Yeah. And it's a bear chasing. A Russian man in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I wouldn't want to be that man. Do you know every bit of footage I've got of you, Gus? You talk like that. Like that so, yeah. so do you think people might think that that's how you talk? Maybe. Who Maybe. Uh, America. America. <laughs> Maybe. The, the only one I didn't talk like that was when I asked you if I can take a shed in the. In the, uh, or was it? In the motorhome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the fucking, uh, the, the this, is, thing, yeah. this is the same Gus G that yeah. asked if he could take a shit in the motorhome. That was me. Yeah. I, I want to take a shit in the mobile home. In the stretch limo. In the stretch limo, yeah. You can't in there. Here we are in the middle of Red Square, Moscow. Gus is telling Olga, our translator, the <laughs> finest Lenin joke he knows. There's Lenin's too, particularly, particularly apt. It's a cathedral. <laughs> We leave today, head off to, um, or we do the show here in Moscow, and then we go home, get a couple of days at home, and we do uh, another 20-odd dates.